Welcome to chapter eight. Out of the My Lady Black Book. Introduction. The skin is the largest organ of the body and vital to our very existence. While it is designed to protect us, it is also the most visible organ of the body, and healthy skin is often associated with good health in general. Choosing a career in skin care to help people achieve maximum skin health and overcome or reduce the effects of skin disorders can be very rewarding. Skin specialists are in high demand in many salons and spas and earn excellent salaries. Some stylists find caring for the skin easier and less physically demanding than styling hair, and they choose to balance their day by scheduling services in both areas. Skin care is an area of rapid change and growth and a topic on a lot of clients' minds. Knowing the basics of skin care and how the skin functions will allow you to advise clients on their skin care regimens when they seek your professional opinion. Disorders and diseases of the skin. A lesion is a mark on the skin that may indicate an injury or damage that changes the structure of tissues or organs. Primary lesions are lesions that are a different color than the color of the skin and or are raised above the surface of the skin. They're often differentiated by size and layers of skin affected. These may require a medical referral. A bulla is a blister containing a watery fluid similar to a vesicle but larger. It requires medical referral. A cyst is a closed abnormally developed sac containing fluid pus, semi-fluid or morbid matter above or below the skin and it also requires medical referral. A macule is a flat spot or discoloration on the skin. A nodule is a solid bump larger than four tenths of an inch, about a centimeter, that can be easily felt. It requires a medical referral. A papule is a small elevation on the skin that contains no fluid but may develop pus. A pustule is a raised inflamed papule with a white or yellow center containing pus in the top of the lesion. A tumor is an abnormal mass varying in size, shape, and color. Any type of abnormal mass, not always cancer, requires medical referral. A vesicle is a small blister or sac containing clear fluid lying within or just beneath the epidermis. It requires a medical referral if the cause is unknown or untreatable with over-the-counter products. And a wheel. is an itchy, swollen lesion that can be caused by a blow, scratch, bite of an insect, a skin allergy, or the sting of a nettle. Typically resolves on its own, but referral to a physician should be considered when the condition lasts more than three days. Those are all of your primary lesions. Okay, a bulla, a cyst, a macule, a nodule, a papule, a pustule, a tumor, a vesicle, and a wheel. Secondary skin lesions are characterized by piles of material on the skin surface, such as a crust or scab, or by depressions in the skin surface, such as an ulcer. A crust is dead cells that form over a wound or blemish while healing, accumulation of sebum and pus sometimes mixed with epidermal cells. Excoriation is a skin sore or abrasion produced by scratching or scraping. A fissure is a crack in skin penetrating into the dermis. A keloid is a thick scar resulting from excessive growth of fibrous tissue. Keloids will form along any type of scar for people susceptible to them. Scale is a thin, dry, or oily plate of epidermal flakes such as excessive dandruff. A scar or cicatrix is a slightly raised mark on the skin formed after an injury or lesion of the skin has healed. An ulcer is an open lesion on the skin or a mucous membrane of the body accompanied by loss of skin depth and possibly weeping of fluids or pus. This requires a medical referral, particularly in clients with underlying medical conditions such as diabetes. Okay, those are your secondary skin lesions crust, excoriation, fissure, keloid, scale, scar or cicatrix, and ulcer. There are some excellent graphs in your book on this. 
disorders of the sebaceous glands. Open comedo is also known as a mm, got them backwards on the board. Also known as a blackhead. Open comedo is a blackhead. It is a hair follicle with keratin and sebum. Comedones appear most frequently on the face, especially in the T-zone, which is the center of the face and the forehead. When the sebum of the comedo is exposed to the environment, it oxidizes and turns black. So, in your notes, make sure that you switch those two around. Closed comedo. When the follicle is closed and not exposed to the environment, the sebum remains a white or cream color and it appears as a small bump just under the skin surface, also known as a whitehead. So just switch those two around. Milia are really basically teeny tiny comedos. They are benign, keratin-filled cysts that appear just under the epidermis and have no visible opening. They, remember, they resemble small, round sesame seeds. Acne is a skin disorder characterized by chronic inflammation of the sebaceous glands from retained secretions and bacteria known as Propionibacterium acnes, the scientific term for acne bacteria. A sebaceous cyst is a large protruding pocket-like lesion filled with sebum. Sebaceous cysts are frequently seen on the scalp in the back and may be surgically removed by a dermatologist. Seborrheic dermatitis is a skin condition caused by an inflammation of the sebaceous glands often characterized by inflammation, dry or oily scaling, or crusting and or itchiness. Red flaky skin often appears in the eyebrows, in the scalp and hairline, in the middle of the forehead, or along, along the sides of the nose. A dermatologist will prescribe topical antifungal medications. In the salon, a non-fatty skin care product designed for sensitive skin can be used. Rosacea. Rosacea is a chronic condition that appears on the cheeks and nose, characterized by redness, dilation of blood vessels, and, form, and a formation of papules and pustules. Factors that aggravate rosacea are spicy foods, caffeine, alcohol, exposure to extreme heat and cold or sunlight, and also stress. You'll notice on the notes, that lovely word that starts with a T, that it that means the dilation of blood vessels. And I'm not even going to try and pronounce it. Sorry, guys. That is the end of the first day of Chapter 8.